Hi there! I'm Nadira Jamal, the Belly Dance Geek. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to change the tempo of a song. So why might you want to change the tempo? Sometimes you've got a great song, but the tempo isn't quite right for your performance. Maybe it's too fast and you're having trouble keeping up. Or maybe the song is dragging a little bit and you think it needs a little bit more oomph. Changing the tempo can also be helpful for practice or class, particularly when you need music of a specific speed or if you want to create some speed drills. This is especially handy when you're working up to different speeds on your zills or on quick repetitive movements like the three-quarter shimmy. So in this tutorial, you'll learn how to change the tempo of an entire song or how to change the tempo of just one section. To do this, you'll need Audacity, which is free software available for multiple platforms. You can get that at audacity.sourceforge.net. The first step is to open up the file that we want. So I'm going to go into the file menu and choose open. And I'm going to navigate to the music track that I want to change, then click open. This opens it up in Audacity and shows us the music track as a waveform. Step two is to select the portion of the track that you want to change the speed in. You can select just a portion of the track, but in this case, let's say that I want to change the tempo of the entire piece. So I'm going to go into the edit menu and choose select all. And that selects the entire track. Step three is to actually make the change. So let's go into the effect menu and choose change tempo. Now you'll notice that there's also an option to change speed. That will change the speed of your music track, but it will also shift the pitch. So as it speeds up, it will get higher pitched and as it slows down, it will get lower pitched. And that's usually not what we want. So I'm going to choose change tempo and you can confirm that by looking at the description. It says change tempo without changing pitch. And then here you have a couple of options. You can change the speed by dragging the slider to affect a percentage change. So let's say I wanna slow it down by 5% and that changes this number to negative five. I could also type in the percent change that I want. So if I want it to slow down by 10%, I'd type in negative 10. Or if I wanted to speed it up by 10%, I'd make it a positive 10. In this case, let's go with negative 10. You can also change the beats per minute. If you know the existing, you can change it to something like 95 beats per minute. And as you adjust the percentage change, then that will change the length in seconds. So by slowing it down by 10%, I've increased it from 9.6 seconds to 10.67. If you try and click in here and you give it a specific length that you want it to become, it will automatically update the percentage change for you. So you can choose how you want to do that. Personally, I like to use this percentage change box to get exactly what I want. You can click on the preview button to hear what it sounds like with this change before you apply it. So that's a pretty good speed change. I'm happy with that, but if I wasn't, I could make it a lot slower and so on. So I'm going to click on OK, and that makes my change, and you'll notice the total time has lengthened as well. Now the last step is to save your file and export it into a useful format. So I'm going to go into the file menu and choose save project and that saves my audacity project. So I'm going to call this slowed down Saidi track And now I have my project saved, but I still don't have an audio file that I can use. So I'm going to go into the file menu and choose export as WAV. You can also choose the option to export as MP3, but you'll need to install some extra software in order to make that possible. 
So usually I export it as a wave. And I will save that in the location that I want. And now we have a separate file with our slowed down track. The music in this tutorial is by an artist named Drawn and was licensed through Pond5.com. Thanks for joining me. For more Geektacular resources, check out bellydancegeek.com.